Hey everyone, it's Cherie and we're back with another vlog. So, um, last week me and Sam went to San Diego for our six year anniversary and I was so excited to go to California. I've only been once. That was to San Francisco. And so this time we're actually able to go to Southern California, which was amazing. The reason why I am kind of filming in between is because on this trip, it really was very relaxing and I didn't do a lot of talking um, in a lot of the clips. I wanted to pop in here and there just to kind of give you some background on what was going on. We left Thursday morning really early in the morning at like six something. Um, we took Southwest in and we got to San Diego. It was 12 o'clock their time. Peace and serene and beautiful. It's a little chilly, but we're here. Say hi, Sam. <laughs> so, uh, year number six, starting now. <laughs> now, one thing that I really noticed that I was very shocked on is how cool it was. I believe the high was only 75 the entire time we was out there. Um, don't get me wrong, in the middle of the day when the sun was booming, it was pretty hot. But by the evening, remember we're kind of partly in the desert, it got cold. I think it got down to like 65 every night, so I needed a jacket. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't necessarily pack for that cold. previous this by saying again I didn't realize it was gonna be that cold so Thursday night I go being cute in my dress um, to watch the fireworks and my behind is freezing <laughs>
trip to San Diego and Anaheim, so our Cali trip. And today we're gonna go over to Coronado Beach, um, and then we're gonna come back and enjoy. We're slightly jet lagged, just slightly. You know, when you go west, it's not as bad as when you're going um, east. So I still feel like it's 11 o'clock, but it's only eight something. Um, but we're gonna go into the gift shop, get some stuff. You guys, it's really chilly out here. It's only like 65 degrees right now, and it's really cold. So I went out last night and I was looking out cute, you know, thinking it's gonna be like 100 degrees, and yeah, I was a little chilly. So thank goodness for North Face jackets. Um, so yeah, but come along with our day two journey. <laughs> Okay, so Friday was a really, really fun day. Friday, we actually went over to Coronado Beach. It's an island right off of San Diego with beautiful beaches. It is so pretty. Most of the people there don't even drive around because it only takes about two miles to get to the other part of the island. So we actually rented bikes. <laughs> Okay, before we went to the beach, we went to this place called Miguel's. Now, I have to say this, and Sam was like, don't talk about this while we're on vacation, but I am going to put this out there. At Miguel's, the drinks were great. The food was okay, but I was really disappointed in their service. I did notice that a lot of the people who didn't necessarily look like me were getting served just a little bit more than me and Sam were. So I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. Back to it, we go on the beach, and of course, we take this time for a photo shoot. getting on the ferry going back to San Diego after spending hours in Coronado Beach and the tides were just really really strong um, so I had to do something on Instagram on my story <laughs> to talk about how crazy these tides were oh this is wavy y'all please Lord don't let me get seasick in the name of Jesus Ooh. Now, I think this was part of the aftershock of the first earthquake. The second one, we were there. And y'all, I got it on video. Oh my gosh, y'all. We are in an earthquake right now. OMG. It's another earthquake. See? Holy See shit. how we're moving? We're moving. It's an earthquake, y'all. And it's still going. It's been going on for like two minutes. It's still moving. Oh my gosh. I'm still moving. You can see I am not moving. The camera is moving. It is for real an earthquake right now. Hey. Yo. What's up? All right. Um, so we're in the middle of an earthquake right now? It's still moving. Yeah. We are still in the middle what of this earthquake. earthquake right now? So yeah, that was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie, now that I'm home, it was pretty exciting too. I always have a story to tell. Yeah, I was in one of the strongest earthquakes <laughs> um, California has seen in many, many years. But in the moment, it was really scary. Not gonna lie, full disclosure, 
we had family and friends that were calling us like you guys need to come home and we're like no we paid too much for this trip we're gonna stick this thing out you know Saturday it was on and popping because we were going to Anaheim <laughs> Hey everyone, good morning. It is Saturday and it's actually our anniversary. Um, so it's the day after the earthquake and the beach and all of that. Um, today we're actually going up to Anaheim and so fingers are crossed. We hope nothing else happens while we're out here because we're kind of going a little closer to where the epic center of all of that was going on. Um, but right now it's kind of cloudy, but one thing I've noticed here that is usually cloudy in the morning and then the sun just comes out raging. So we're going to go grab something to eat and then we're going to go rent a car and we're going to leave San Diego up to Anaheim. This is like bothering me. Um, so, and then tomorrow we're going to Disneyland. So it's going to be really fun. Um. Yeah. Baby, went in the stones and did a thing for it's me. It's so pretty. Police and got it back on the train for me. They ain't to me. Half of these bitches left it. You get to the point you go on IG and you can wrap it. Get it to Anaheim. You can give it to Chandler. You can have it on the list. You can shoot the side of my hands. I'm saying. Yeah. One thing, if you don't know about us, our favorite hotel chain is the Hyatt so shout out to the Hyatt we are Discovery's members um love the Hyatt and Sam was able to get us the Hyatt Regency which was right down the road from Disneyland it was gorgeous hey you guys so we just made it to Anaheim we're at our hotel y'all it is dope <laughs> I love Hyatt's and I love being a Discoverer's and oh my gosh our room is I think on the top floor um, and they're doing, letting us do early check-in I'm so excited um, I think we're going to I'm gonna get me some coffee here soon because um, jet lag is a beast but after that we're gonna go chill out for a minute and we're gonna drive around Anaheim and then I know tonight we're going to uh, downtown Disney and then Disneyland tomorrow. So that's the plan so far. You know, we we are always down. If things change, it change. We just go with the flow. That's the fun part of vacationing. Um, but yeah, it's our anniversary. I just really, really love Sam and he just spoils me. But also we just know the benefit of saving um, and putting the right things first. We love to travel, so that's what we do. Beyond anything else, we sacrifice other things so that we have the ability to do what we love, which is traveling. So, yeah. But he's off uh, parking a car for us, and we'll go from there. So, day three, uh, anniversary year six. Here we go one of my favorites hands down <laughs> so we decided that now that we're in Anaheim we cannot come this far without having some Roscoe's chicken and waffles of course all right all right let's go to Roscoe's chicken and waffles <laughs> Roscoe's chicken and waffles. It was really, really good. And I think that was the most uh, economical meal that we've had the whole time we've been in California. So kudos to Roscoe's. Definitely a staple for us. I'm sorry, dames. Roscoe's got you beat. Then we went to downtown Disney. <laughs> We're on our way to Disneyland at night downtown Disney so going down there get our gifts and 
all the stuff we want to do. Um, there's eating, there's bars, everything. So we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to do that. And then tomorrow we really, really have fun. we can go into both of the properties let's just say hands down love Disneyland I know it's smaller than Disney World but because it's smaller it's less crowded um, most of the crowd were locals and it's like honestly they were wearing Disney stuff like it was a sports team like they rep Disneyland <laughs>
to the point that I'm told Sam was like, I just kind of want to come back here. I don't know if I want to go to Disney World. Don't shoot me if you love Disney World. I'm not saying that it's not a great place, but I'm enjoying the opportunity to go back out to California and I really like Disneyland. All right, it is almost 5.30 and we've been here all day. So it's time to leave and we're heading back to San Diego for the night and then tomorrow we head back to North Carolina. So I'm not gonna lie, it was absolutely positively amazing. And I got so much stuff and I'm just really happy. We spent the night there. Um, we went out to um, a local Japanese restaurant called Fuji's, and then the next day we flew home. It was Guys, it was such an amazing trip. I really like California. Um, no, if you're asking, we did not go into LA. That is for another trip, but it was amazing to see them. I love you so much. And we've made it to six years and I'm looking forward to another lifetime with you. Love you. So you guys, that was our trip. Um, if you have any questions about going out to California or if you're thinking that you're interested, let me know. I'm thinking about maybe blogging um, a few of my tips for going out there and trying to save some money um, because it is pretty expensive out there. So you definitely want to save if you're going. Um, the prices are not compatible to North Carolina. Matter of fact, the gas, you guys, gas is $4 a gallon out there. Take a minute to think about that. Four dollars. Yeah. Until next time, you guys. <laughs> Bye.